Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekicks. Oh, Vinny's here. Vinny's over there. Can you see Shannon? I got to get used to this whole webcam thing. I got to just remember <laughs> Shannon's over there and point over there. So we've done some rearrange. Can you see our backgrounds? They're kind of tiny for you guys to see. Maybe we'll do a video. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know how we'll do it. Maybe we'll make it where in the after show you can see the backgrounds better or something. We might, we'll play with that. But right. Shannon and I have been doing a bunch of stuff. So we got the backgrounds done and we got old Vinny, got him a little cleaned up background over there. So actually it's new because that was not above your head before. Remember that? Yeah. That was below. So today we are going to continue. We're actually going to finish our calendar. That's the plan. Okay. It's to finish. That's the plan, Stan. So this is our desk calendar turn mini album. And I'm super excited about the 2021. I told y'all I wanted to do something different. And Shannon and I have come up with something we think is really, really good. It's super, super easy, but really good. So it should be Saturday's video. I have to build a free PDF for you for that one because I think it'll work really. You don't have to have the free PDF. You could totally do it with what you got at home, but I think the PDF will be fun. So hopefully Saturday's video will be the new 2021 calendar. But in the meantime, this is what the desk calendar is. So it works like it's a calendar by day. It's a calendar by month like this. It's a calendar. And then when you're done with the calendar part, you decorate each page and you turn it into a mini album. So you decorate the front page and then you turn it into an album where you journal on the back of your images, right? So we have done, my journaling is slacking. I promise you I'm going to get my journaling done. We have completed all the way through to November. So you see all the pages. When we get done, we'll go back through all of them. So or through October. Yeah, because I used the wrong page. Did I? No, you did no, no. November first. November's here. So you already did November. You needed. To I do... like this picture. I wanted to do it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and do October, and we'll put October where it goes. And we're also going to do December. And I've already pulled stuff out to do them with. What? I'm not going to make y'all watch me like find things. We're just going to go to town. So we'll put these guys back in here. And this calendar, by the way, closes up, and it has this little. A clasp on it and so then after we're done with it as a calendar it becomes a standing mini album and I just like to call it like the uh, highlight reel of the year you know oh I got my camera on that's what it is that's what it is two shakes two shakes I notice when I look at you I'm looking away from you <laughs> people hate when that happens by the way y'all yeah. y'all go the most oh when you look at me and it looks yeah, like you're looking away from me yeah, yeah, am I looking at you now? Yes. Yep, yep. They People get very, very commenty about that, if you don't get that right. Seriously? <laughs> yes, very commenty. So we fixed wow. it. Don't stress. Yes, please make the camera look at Vinny. I'm looking at Vinny. You know, and when we record, we can't tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, so we, I don't notice it till we edit, and then I can't fix it. So now I've got it fixed. So check this out. So for October, um, my aunt says October, and I think it's the cutest thing. Oc October. Um <laughs> I know we're going to get store questions throughout this show today, so I just want to remind you that we did have the big sale at the end of December, and we sold out a lot of stuff, and we have reordered everything that was out. Plus uh, some. We have new Plus some, coming. and it will be coming in. We got our first shipment yesterday of some stuff from one of our wholesalers, and then we have, you know, tons of stuff coming. It just takes time for it to get back in stock, so you guys please be patient. We will get it back as fast as we can. This picture is Vinny teaching at um may at our merry makeathon so Vinny did the last project of our merry makeathon and brenda snapped this picture of him and sent it to me i thought this was so cute he's in his hunting garb had you been hunting that morning you had i had he had been hunting that morning and then he came in and made a santa bag oh, with everybody so i thought it was it? cute what happened you did good <laughs> all right okay i thought something bad happened back there okay <laughs> So here's Vinny. That's the picture we're going to use for this month. And I, this is from um, a Christmas pack. I, I use Christmas packs year round. People tell me, like if we get Christmas, sometimes I'll get Christmas paper in in the middle of the year and people are kind of like, why are you doing that? I use it year round, mostly yep. because I'm big on these colors, right? And this gray check is so cute. Y'all got to lose my glasses because they too, they too much. They too much. We also have some really good news we have to share with y'all. Um, we teased to it last week because somebody asked me if we had a new editor yet, if we had hired our editor, right? And I teased y'all about it. And does anybody want to say? Did y'all want me to say it or do you want to say well, it? Well, of course you should say you it. You say it because you never get to talk about nothing. This is something you actually know about. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have officially hired an editor and she is in the I put him on 
Tennessee State, and it's Tamitha. Tamitha, we're so excited. She's actually back for more than just editing. She's going to be doing our new blog, which hopefully will roll out in March. That's the plan. It's the plan staying the first quarter. So we have a new blog coming. Uh, Tamitha is working with Sylvia on that. We're really excited about that. She's also going to be doing our editing. She's also going to be our design team coordinator. She's also going to be doing our social media. I can keep going. You guys, this sticker was sent to me last week. Um, this little Winnie dog, and I love it. And it would be really cute on my car, but I'm not a person that puts stickers on my car. Like, I'm a weirdo like that. So um, I thought, what else do I love as much as a car? A trimmer, a paper trimmer. Yeah, because she will not. I mean, <laughs> we have to pay them to take all the decals off of the car when we buy it. But I just realized I put it on upside down. So I just wanted to show y'all. If you've got stickers, dress your stuff up, right? Dress it up. Um. Yeah, I'm not a sticker. I don't like stickers on my car. I'm not, I'm not paying for the vehicle to advertise. I'm not advertising for y'all. Good luck. <laughs> I just don't like all the, I just don't, I'm a, I don't want anything on my car, really. I just want it, I don't like chrome. I have chrome. I don't have much chrome on my, on my car now. It. Yeah, I'm, I don't like chrome and stuff like that. Vinny's a chrome fan. I and like that's chrome. okay. That's perfectly fine. Did I not cut that right? I mean, obviously. And I hate when my chrome is dirty. Oh, five and three quarters. My, dirty, right? my truck is dirty too. But it's going to be it's dirty till after deer season. Day, it seems like, but there's no point watching it. Uh, Judy LaRue lost her mom this week. Oh, I'm so sorry, Judy. Actually, I think I read that on the heart group. I think she put that on the heart group and I read that. I read all of that. I just can't comment on every single one, but I read them. Isn't that cute? I love that. Also, I'm going to tell y'all something. In the 2021 calendar, y'all going to see me doing things very different, very different, because I got an idea, so you'll see. Look out for that Saturday. All right, so we want to put Vinny on here, and I thought it would be cute to pull out the stamp set called Crafty Friends. I don't even know if we sell this set. Do we sell this set? Because the reason I say that is because this is, it was an incentive set for the very first stamp clubs we ever did, back when we used to give incentive set sets, we don't do that anymore, we give just a discount. But this was a set that if you were a stamp club member for a year, you got, so we don't even have it? We don't even have it. Okay, I thought it might have gone vaulted, but we do have um, cards for craft, or what is the one? Um, yeah. We do have another crafty set. I just don't remember the name of it. Um, well, we can bring it back if you want to. I like the set. I think it's cute because it says, like, I wanted to use this because it says, bless your crafty heart, because I thought you were cute sitting there having to do oh, that. Oh, bless yeah. my crafty bless heart. Bless your crafty heart. And I thought I might do a little glue. A little glue ball. A little glue ball. What is the name? I just looked at it today because I almost used it. Let me get it. I'm sorry. I just walk away. I saw um, that. I want to say it is, because I really almost used it, Cards for Crafters. Cards for Crafters. Yep. So you totally could use this one, but I used it for our crop, um, Craftopolis picture. We got a question about the uh, new calendar. I'm going to be using it today, so I'll show y'all. Isn't that cute? You can also use this one, which I think is super cute. So if you don't have this one, and you'll bring it back. I don't yeah, mind. I love that set. I think it's really super cute. And, you know, we didn't for the longest time, but then viewers said, no. Stamp Club members said, sell it. People will love it. Let's do some stamping. Stamping, stamping, do some stamping. Hey, Ben, I need some paper. Thank you. Hey, Ben, I need some more. Y'all, we don't, you know, Ben is the most underrated craft tool in my whole craft right minute. We don't give Ben enough credit. Yeah. Ben does a lot of work around here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do a glue ball. Let's do it in memento. And let's, can y'all tell I've not done this before? We just playing? All righty, glue. Stamp. Cute. Uh, Beth, I can get some more pins from Art Glitter Glue. I just, I, I haven't ordered any, but I'll get on that and get you some in. Shannon and I have worked so hard to clean in here. Apparently, it's got me in cleaning mode. I'm actually going to clean a stamp. Uh-uh. Say yes, it ain't so. Yes, I am. 
Yes, I am. That's because when you finish using a stamp, you put it back on paper, and we put it back over in its little hole. That sounds like a great plan. <laughs> but there's a lot over it, so I have to be done that that sounds like a great plan, Shannon. Let's see how long that lasts. Let's see how long that lasts. There's that. And now I will stamp this for my next trick. I'm going to stamp this. <laughs> Y'all remember who it was last week that offered to send me a garnet and gray sweatshirt? An Ohio sweatshirt? Someone wanted to send me an Ohio State sweatshirt. I bet you can get them bad boys oh, cheap. Oh, don't start. Cheap your, this week. Don't start. Roll, roll Tide. Don't start your pro pro propaganda. Look, people have been <laughs> congratulating me on the national championship oh, in man. the comments. So oh, I man. just, you know. I did not tell you. I didn't tell Shannon this. I told you. Um, EK from Cards for Kids, <laughs> founder of Cards for Kids, um, Instagrammed me and said, congratulations on the championship. I'm, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, what? She didn't even know there was a game I said, on. no, I knew the game was going on. I said, what, what championship? I had to think for a minute. And then I said, oh. And I said, well, oddly enough, I'm an Auburn fan, but my husband's real happy. And he said, well, tell him congratulations. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was funny. It was funny. I really did. I thought, what championship? I'm like, I don't know what he's talking I'm about. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry they are, too. That's awful. I hate it for them. Hey, I have another... Um, Another thing I want to do in 2021, get Shannon a mic. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was proud that they waxed Clemson, though. Yes. Clemson needed a little bit of a... Don't do it. For the last two years, we've had to, we've had to swallow Don't do Clemson it. spanking our booty. Don't do it. So Y'all be careful. What? Be careful talking about Clemson. I ain't talking bad about Clemson. Don't say nothing bad about Dabo. They waxed us the last couple of years. Y'all know I love Dabo. Don't do it. Y'all know how I feel about him. He's an old Pelham boy. I'm an old Pelham girl. I know. Um, did you know that? Did I graduate at Pelham? Anyway, here's the thing about him. I've always said it. If he if he ever becomes the coach at Alabama, I will be wearing hound's tooth the same day. Oh wow. Yeah, that's how serious I am about it. That's pretty serious, Shannon. I don't think he'll ever come back, but you know, oh, Coach will. Bryant said Mama called. That's it. He and Mama will. may call Dabo too. When Who Mama knows? calls, he'll come back. We just gotta have faith. <laughs> okay, that's as much football talk as I do, by the way. That's all. People are probably like, oh my Lord, sports. <laughs> sports. <laughs> oh yeah, I promise you Clemson will be back. They, they ain't sports. gone nowhere. Sports. They're already predicting them number one for next year, so. Do, 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 Let's do that. I'm just crafting. Are y'all following along? So now what I'm going to do is put this guy onto this other guy with a little bit of an edge showing. I eyeballed that edge, and it may not be right. Let's check it. Let's use, I don't think it's 3 16 Oh, it might be, actually. No, that's too tiny. Oh, that's 1 16th. That makes sense. Here's 3 16th. Nope, it's too big. So let's do, let me get the other one. Uh, there we go. Shannon, make a note to see if we can find some heavy vellum cardstock. I'm I, using I vellum today. I don't know that, Yeah, I'll just have to try to find it. Um, the new trimmers are on order, so hopefully they'll be in soon. This is what I'm using. Yeah, someone asked for heavy vellum, uh, uh, or heavier than regular vellum. I don't know if it's heavy. Vellum. Oh, it's 65 pounds. If they want heavier than 65 pounds. I'm using vellum in my next page. Bless your crafty heart. You need to order 150 billion of these. Everybody wants these. Okay. They're really, really I don't know that good. I'll try to order that many, but. You don't want to get 150 billion? No. Okay, so let's kind of lay this out a little bit. Let's put you guys away. So what we have here is a is a picture. That's how <laughs> y'all know where that came from, right? A picture. A picture. A picture. And a picture then worth we a have words. we have this, and then we have this little glue bottle, which I think will be cute right there, maybe. But it needs something here-ish. Ooh, I think I know, I think I know. Can I use something new? Can I use something we haven't shown yet? I guess. 
It's, y'all supposed to say it's your show. What are you looking The new punch. Which? Oh, yes, these ones, these ones. Oh, I don't know. Or this one, huh? Those are the new ones that came in from our supplier yesterday. Brand new. Haven't used them. Look at this hexagon. This guy's going to get worn out in my craft room. I went, to, I went to bed last I saw it on my way out the door yesterday. I went to bed last night thinking of projects for the hexagon. <laughs> uh, someone asked, how do you store your stamps? You want to show them? I mean, you've got a thing right there, don't you? Well, do they mean just like that or they want to see the whole? Oh, I don't know. Here's what I like to do. I get these at Walmart for 97, 98 cents. These little crates, they're so stinking cute. Aren't they cute? They're like little mini crates. And then these are the Brutus Monroe cargo sleeves. They're so nice, these cargo sleeves. They come in three sizes, four sizes, three sizes. Three sizes, I think. And I use a label maker and I label the top. Now you don't have to do this. I have two of every stamp set and that's so I can in video. Everybody needs two of every stamp set. <laughs> I can't get this out. Okay, in video, what I do, and I even did it here today, is I show you guys the clean set. I'm like, this is the set I'm going to use. And then the dirty set is the one I use, or the been used set. Yeah, everybody needs to do that everybody same needs to, thing. So they can do that. Yeah, so I have two of them, and then we just put them in here in alphabetical order. <laughs> and that's how it goes. Just go ahead and prep for your everybody needs to. Okay, let's do this thing. So, I like the hearts too. I might use those. Never met a punch I didn't like. Is that true? That's true. I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> no, there was a border punch I wasn't a fan of. There was a border punch that made me want to punch it. <laughs> okay, what colors do I want? Let's go back to our Christmas paper pad. Those crates are handy for everything. They're also perfect for six by six um, paper pads. Oh, yeah, we did that too. There's and they're so cheap and they're so cute. Want to use some plaid? We could use plaid. I mean, whose page is it? <laughs> Do y'all hear them in there? What are they doing? Clearly not working. <laughs> they're doing something. I kind of like this black too. I know it's supposed to be like snowflakes or something, but there's that. That's cute too. I'm doing this very jankily because just to show y'all, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Oh, the solid black would be pretty too. Maybe. You may want to mat the photo also. No, because says I mean, it's getting lost. I may only need, do y'all know me to ever put a photo down without it? Have I done that? I don't know. I might have. Um, I may need, three might be enough for what I'm thinking. Three might be enough. And let's see. All right, so. Let's look at this and see. Let's look. So I'm going to pull this little set over here. And my thought is that I would, I thought about having these come up the page like this. And I could pull this one off. Like put my favorite in the middle of the page and then cut them off. Do we off. still have any of that pack of paper in the store? Oh, that's Christmas, and Christmas went 40%. I bet that stuff went in the sale, don't you think? Lumberjack, I think? No. I thought that was a, a photo play one you are using. Yeah, that's Christmas cheer. I like that back there. It gives it a little something, something different. But I think I want to put this guy behind the picture so I can see more of these. Christmas cheer is no longer available. Oh, yeah, that's a photo play, yeah. So let's see, let's see. I think I like that better. Yeah, that'll be kind of cute. It's just something to do something in the background, so we'll need to do that. All right. So, Ben, not navy. I need some black. There's some in there, I'm sure. I meant to restock my black scraps because I have a whole bunch of them. How about glitter? Vinny, you want to be on glitter? No, no I don't, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Ugh. 
there a black in the anthology? There was. There was. Surely I have a scrap of black. Come on. Anybody else have trouble not? Well, name's not Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. You're like, you probably do, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> um, does anybody else do that where you're like, I'm not going to cut a piece when I know I have a scrap? That is so close. I could probably cut this down a little. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> you just trim me off at the bottom. To use a scrap, that's what we're going to do. And I don't think it'll be an issue. All right, so I can trim. I probably can trim the top. I don't really like how messy all that stuff looks anyway. All the lights and stuff, they're messy up there. <laughs> they're messy up there, bless you. Let's see if that did it. I did that without measuring. That's hey, pretty Cindy good. Cindy asked, what is the work surface measurement across the top and bottom on the tonic super trimmer you're using? Work surface measurement. She <laughs> says, when the tonic super trimmer is closed, what is the work surface measurement across the top and bottom? Does it go up to six and a half inches? I don't think I've ever seen one do that. Let's, no, let's no. It goes to six and a half, exactly. Six and a half mm -hmm. is the correct answer, Cindy. We learn something new every day. Um, didn't put my finger in this thing right. All right, let's see. I don't think I got that thin enough. I didn't. Okay, I don't know if I got one thin enough for it. Because I did that by eye, you know. And when you eyeball something, you can't measure it. Oh, yeah, this will do it. I'm pretty good at eyeballing one eighth. Do y'all have a measurement you're pretty good at? Like, I can see those things. You know what I'm saying? Just because I do it, just because that's what I do. Yep. There we go. Do you know what size is the hexagon is on that punch? We can, though. Will you measure it while I keep going? You know, you did have a whole stack of them right there. You could have just... Well, it's right there, and you could help. I know, but... Oh, I'm, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How do you measure it? You're going to just do the from best From tip to tip? I'd measure from there, from flat to flat. Top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Looks like about two and an eighth, if I was guessing. And then across the middle from tip, what I would call tip to tip, is two and a half. That's so funny. Sometimes it sounds like waka, waka, waka. When I'm scratching it with the waka waka. Carol, that paper pack is um, Christmas cheer from Photo Play. That's the name of it. So this is why, like, I'm gonna say, y'all do what you want to do. I do not tell y'all to buy everything, but this is what I'm gonna tell you: when when papers go forty percent off, even if they're Christmas, that's grab that stuff because. There's only one or two pieces that are Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Even like this pack, it's mostly winter. There's even a whole page that's got music and plaid. And I just, I have a thing about six by six, so I don't mind collecting six by six paper pads. That's really cute. That hexagon punch makes easy work of that kind of little backgroundy thing. That's really cute. So I'll right. do all right with that. Yeah, I love that hexagon. When Sweet. I saw it, I was like, yes. I think I'm going to pop you up there. Debbie said she got a new Alexa for Christmas, and it reminded her to watch Momay today. Oh, that's cool. I can't have those kind of things. We don't have enough internet. <laughs> she said it did help her find the right time zone, so she gets to watch live for the first time. That's cool. Do y'all know the time zone trick? Unless you're not in the United States, it's a little hard. But if you're in the United States, it's pretty easy if you, if you think about it. You know, we're set in four zones. It's four times. It's four hours. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you're not in the United States, that changes things. Cause like Gary's six hours ahead of us until when time change happens. Cause he's, we're, are we five hours or seven hours different during time change? I can't remember for a little while, but I understand time zones can be difficult. I'll tell you who knows time zones in my house, Joseph. Joseph knows time zones 
because he watches all those gamers from other countries. Yeah. He can keep up with time zones. He told me one day, he said, Mamey, don't fall in love with European gamers. I said, why, Joe? He said, because they're always streaming on Sunday morning when you're at church. <laughs> Don't fall in love with European gamers. I was like, I don't think you're going to worry about that with me. <laughs> uh, Katie wants to know, is Scotty real sticky to cut? Um, I always cut him with something Teflon coated, and then it's no big deal. You don't want to cut him with, like, your cutter bees or with your, like, just titanium or silver scissors. Um, if you do and they get sticky, you can use alcohol, hand sanitizer. Shannon likes to use Goo Gone. You can use stuff to clean them. But if you use these guys, it doesn't really build up. Maybe over years, because yeah. I have had some I've had to clean, but not like I it's have to do like it. Instantly. Yeah, I don't have My to do regular it. Regular scissors at the house, it was like instantly. Yeah. So don't use your regular scissors. Just use something um, Teflon coated or something. Um, I'm putting a little red on here, so I'm just using a red, just a red jelly roll. And I just thought it'd be cute to put some touches of red. Yes, Debbie, I do love to deer hunt, and I even slipped away yesterday during the day. What? I didn't see anything, but I did slip away yesterday during the day. I called him on my way home, and I said, he was, on, he was in, the, in the stand. He said, yes. He whispered. I said, are you still in the stand? He said, yes. I said, don't you think you've been there long enough? And he said, I was just about to come home. It's just too cold. You can't sit there all day. Well, and just, you know, how thick is Scotty? I would say about a sixteenth. A sixteenth of an inch would be my guess. He's a sixteenth. I'm pretty sure he's a sixteenth. Baby, I don't have a ruler over here that has a sixteenth on it. Baby, you just see if he's smaller than an eighth. <laughs> well, I can tell you, he's smaller. I mean, that's than all eight. people. That's all people see by the eyes, smaller than an eighth. I'm pretty sure he's a sixteenth. That's cute. Let's poke it out the top because I don't want to use my pen to color all that in. I don't know. We've done that before. That would be I'd a say Vinny a sixteenth, yes. That would be a Vinny decision. Like we've done that before, where your first month you get cheaper. Is that how you say it? You sign up for your first month. It's only this much versus what the rest of the months or something like that. Okay, I think I want to stamp. Lol. 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 Uh, I know you are cracking up too. It's not just me laughing at myself. Um, On the inside, we're rolling. You are rolling. I want to stamp. L O L O L O L O L. I want to do a card. That would be funny to do a card. L O L O L O L O. That would be funny. Okay. And then this little guy is going to live here. And it's because. Do I want it to live there or do I want it to live here? Or like this? I kind of like him spread out. I got to move on because the next page is going to be work. This is not work, by the way. You realize that? Ah. They're rolling something around out there. They got a new car. Do you want to tell them about their new car? They're pretty excited about it. Yeah, we ordered a, a big cart to move the mail from the shipping department up to the front where when the mail lady comes. But I think they're riding around in it I out there. I think they're out there riding like. it too. Since we've moved from one side of the store to the other, we're much further back. And so moving pack before they packed the packages and they were basically at the door for the mail lady to pick up. But now they're all the way in the opposite side of the store in the back. And so moving all the bags of packages is a lot is literally sometimes we all just have to stop and go help. So we got in this cart. They have um a dolly that they call Big Sliggy. I don't know why. That's his name, Big Sliggy. And Big Sliggy doesn't hold enough, so we had to get him this, this other cart, which, by the way, is called a basket truck. That's the name of that. When you search it, you look for a basket truck. Okay. And um, who knows what they'll name their basket truck. Who knows? Oh, no. We said. Here, I'll use this. Oopsie day. I'll use this. No big deal. What is it? Three sixteenths it is. It is. Oh. Oh, it goes in there. What was I thinking? What's weird that we talked about it? No, the camera, like it freezes and then it goes really fast. It's probably the internet connection. 
And like just a second ago, when you went and moved on your screen, you went like really quick to do something. It's probably my internet connection because I'm having to use internet from my phone also. Yeah. Okay, let's add it. This is done. This is done. This is really cute. So it's real cute. I like it. I'm happy with that. That's what I love about this little book. I mean, it's no, there's no investment in it. There, it's, it's stuff in your, in your craft room, and you can sit down and do it. And do, why not do that? You can sit down and do it in just a few minutes, and by the time the year's over with, of course, if you keep up with things like you're supposed to, you're done by the time by now. But anyway, <laughs> that's November, so we want to go here. I just think this little guy is a fun project. It's one of my favorite projects I've ever done, and which is one of the reasons why I wanted to change it up this year. So. <clears throat> the first year I did this, I did it with a smaller base, right? The first thing, I mean, the first time I did it, I did it with like a two inch or a two and a half inch base. And then last time I did it in 2020, I did it with a three inch base. And this year, I don't know how big the base is going to be because I'm changing. I think the base is going to stay the same because I'm changing this up. And so um, I just, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I don't know if I'll ever be able to come up with something else different, but we've got that idea. All right, so let me take two seconds to put these things away before we pull out the next thing um, because I got a lot to do on it too. I got a lot of work to do. Put that away. What's missing? Did I already put that away? I did. Put this away. And then put this away. And sit that there. Okay. I can put the, Oh, I forgot. I'm not going to do it. I don't have a recording one. Um, that away that we're done with might bring that back put this over here <laughs> doing two at a time I have to kind of reset all right so let me show you what we're going to do for December we are going to use this photo of my lovely son Joshua who graduated in December from University of Montevallo with his teaching certificate we could not be more proud. He's, he's, I love this picture, too, because he's going to be teaching um, kids. Like, he's er, early elementary, right? Early mm -hmm. elementary. And um, I just think this is so cute. I wasn't sure what size picture I wanted, so I'm going to cut both of these out and see which one is the one I want to use and have a plan for it. I have a bit of a plan. We'll see what happens. So Josh will be starting his first teaching gig next month. That's exciting. It is. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this. I don't know though, because what I want to, I think this, I like this and I'm going to work to this side of the page because I want to do something else on this side of the page. So yeah, I think so. It's real emotional too for me. Yes, it is. And I'm so proud. It is. It's all of our kids accomplishments are very emotional for you. <laughs> well, that's true because I'm proud of them. You, but you just are a very emotional guy. That's just you. All right, so let's start with a four, a five and a quarter by five and a quarter square. So I'm using purple and gold as my colors, which is the um, colors of his school. However, those happen to also be Josh's favorite colors. Like he's, he loves the Lakers, which happen to be purple and gold. Um, yellow is his literal favorite color. So this kind of works out perfect to do it in his colors. Uh, his bedroom growing up was yellow, so much so that it looked like the lights were on in his room all the time. Because we would go, Josh, turn your lights off. He's like, they're off. I promise they're off. <laughs> so bright. So there's that. And now I'm tempted to use that hexagon punch again, but I'm not. Because what I want to do here is I want to kind of do this number. Or do I? Let me show you what I got. I, I don't. I hesitate to show what y'all got. I hesitate to show y'all because, oh, I could have split that. You know it. Like that. That looks very um, collegiate to have like that. <clears throat> don't want to do that? I don't know. I think I'll try that. I think I'll try that. So here's what we'll do. We'll cut this down to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. This is just, by the way, I don't know where this came from. It was, it, I asked Shannon to find something gold. <laughs> so she dug through, the, through my room and found it. So we got it. Um, what I'm going to do is do it at five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Somebody said, what about gold stars? Well, I've got, I, you'll see, i got some stuff going. So, um, then I'm going to diagonal cut this. So listen, 
I, it amazes me how when I say this, people always tell me in the comments, I never heard that tip. So I want to make sure I tell you again. Anytime you're going to cut on the angle like this, especially, but a lot of times you should do this, you want to sink your blade. So don't try to come down here and try to push because if you do, if your blade is a little bit dull, if you don't quite have a hold of your paper, whatever, it's going to move on you. But if you will sink your blade in the middle, so that means shut it and push it in. Now you have good control to go up and then down and you get a beautiful slice if you do that. But if you try to do it the other way, sometimes you can get that whole wrinkle. Oh, look, it looks cheetah print in my shirt. Um, so always sink your blade and then go one way and the other and you'll get a better result. All right, so here's the purple and then here's my thought. That's kind of cool. I like, it's kind of collegiate to me. It, I hate that you guys aren't seeing it as gold as it really is because like all the reflections in it, but it really is cool. I'm going to go with that. Um, Shannon, will you make a note to uh, see if we can find the 3D jelly roll? Jelly roll pins. I already did. Cool. Uh, I did see your question about that. I just uh, have not looked for that. So I will see if I can find it. And if I can, I'll bring that bad boy in. All right. Sorry, Rhonda. I wrote it down. I just didn't tell you. One thing you want to be really careful of when working with a foil paper or a shiny paper or like a vellum, especially with these glues, because they dry matte and they dry clear and stuff like that, the matte part, if you get it on your foil, it's going to show. You can use like your, um, sometimes you can use your mono sand eraser and if you have one of those um, glumpy erasers, you can use that sometimes. But I find if you're just really careful, it's better to be really careful on that. All right, so there's that. Um, I think I should use some black. I, you always need a touch of black. So let's go back to that piece. That's not going to be nearly enough. I'm going to have to get some. Going to have to break down and get a piece. I must use a lot of black to think that there is none in Ben. I must use a lot. You know? Is that really a question? Well, I just don't realize how much I use. <laughs> if I it's black, red, or white, there's not much of it around here. That's why her challenge. Yeah, in the off limit challenge. I, I don't even think done. we told Vince about that. No, I guess we should have done that. We do have some a question about when you're going to do another one. Another what? Another one of those off limit, off -limit challenge? challenge. Well, what did we get in? Do we get a bunch of. Uh, we got about three, I guess. Only three? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, guys. Um, we got three challenges in. I need more challenges. We did get one that. Um, I can only, the only thing I can know is what the project is, right? Um, and Shannon told me the project, and I thought that'd be fun. We could try that, that project. Um, so I can, here's the thing, in the Off Limit Challenge, I can know the project, but I can't know what the taboo items are. That way I go ahead and plan my project as if I'm using everything in my craft room, and then when I get in here I find out very much otherwise. Um, Tisha, um Josh graduated from the University of Montevallo and he's going to, uh, in uh, early education was his degree in that area and with specializing in special needs education. So um, those books that he, are hold, that he is holding are children's books. Children's books. So hopefully that answers your question. Tell them, Nancy, get some thumbs up. Aww. Over 500 watching, only 122 thumbs up. I'm so happy we have 500 watching. That's amazing. Okay, now for the fun part. Now for Here the fun part. Here we go, part. the fun part. Here we go, the fun part. Okay, I want to use vellum. Cause think, I'm thinking like graduation invitation. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And I think, and look, uh -huh. the colors will show through really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to five by five. That looks real cool. Okay, I'm gonna cut, I haven't seen it, but I'm liking it. So I'm going to cut this down to five by five. I do feel like it's, it's being lost in translation a bit on the screen, which makes me kind of sad for you guys. But it's really, it, it looks cool, doesn't it? Like looking through it. I'm looking at it through the screen. Is it looking okay? Okay. I don't want it to get lost in translation. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use some stays on. What? She's going to use stays on. First off. I'm happy because I get to smell it. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, it smells like uh, almond cinnamon. It's fantastic. Fantastic. All right. The stamp set. This is why I wouldn't show you ahead of time. 
because I didn't want y'all to re, re get my brain out of whack. I didn't want you to go, oh, you should do this or this, because I would then I'd start thinking I'd get out of whack. And this is this is my thought. Okay. This stamp set is called um, You Make Me Happy. And if it's not in store, I know you were bringing it back because everybody wanted to use it for kids' cards. And I think it is in store, actually. I think I saw it. I want to use this row of kids right here. And I want them to kind of peek out around the picture. And I don't know if they're going to be the exact perfect fit. I don't think that really matters. Look how close. Isn't that cute? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, um, give me just a second. Let me get a napkin. Oh, I have my microphone on. I'm going to use my press. I'm going to use my Fiskars press. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to kind of line this up over the top and make sure I get this where I want it. So let me do that. You know what else I want to do? Um, where's my little purple tape? You know, I'm not sure. Here it is. Because vellum can be sticky. If y'all have like the magnetic background mats and all that kind of stuff, you can use that. But because vellum can be kind of sticky, it can be kind of staticky, I'm just going to stick this down to my work surface and I've got it squared up. And this new and improved purple tape is fantastic. Of course, the kids tell me it's not as new as I thought it was. <laughs> We've had it, but I didn't know. All right, so I'm going to pick these guys up just like this, and using stays on. Um, let's talk about stays on, okay? Um, what we are gonna do is we're only gonna be using stays on. This is, this is the thing, eh, not everybody. A lot of new crafters or new stampers think that stays on means this is the one you wanna use because it stays on. It does, but you only wanna use it for non-porous surface application. It is not for everyday, everything application. So vellum is non-porous. So if I don't use this, it ain't gonna work. The other thing I love about doing it this way, I found this is a tip I need to share. So you know how when you're stamping on vellum, sometimes your stamps can wiggle? I'm using this with these rubber feet, you see? So I've got this nice and sturdy. I got this all inked up. I'm gonna put this over here. And I want my kids to live like this, right along the side. So because I've got these rubber feet, look how much better I'm going to be able to stamp on the vellum. I actually can do all this number, see? If I just had that on a block and was trying to do it, it would wiggle. Y'all know, if you are a person who stamps on vellum or acetate or anything like that, to me, using these little rubber feet are the way to go. Look how good that turned out because it holds them still. I don't know why I've never shared that tip. It's a good tip, I think. Um, I need to share that one. So, here we go. Now then, I'm going to put that away, and I'm going to go ahead and wipe off. Let me move this out of the way, too. You got a super oh, thank you so much. Ready? <sighs> thank you. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. Um, I will tell you something that I learned through some research. You don't want to use the stays on cleaner on your stamps, believe it or not. It has a very high concentration of alcohol. Ooh, this is so bad. I don't have my cloth. Y'all, I've got some cloths coming. Do not do this. Never clean your stamps with paper. Oh, never do that. I'll have to go take that to the sink. <laughs> but it's done. Okay, so back to this little dude. So peeling this away. Now then, I'm going to, I want this guy to go right here. I want them to just kind of peek around there. I may even trim some of this picture off a little bit because I kind of want it to go like that. So I may trim that off. Probably will. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down to here first. Just about like that. That is so cute. That's going to work well. I need to get a move on. All right, let's leave this about right here. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. Okay. Now let's pick this up. Let's trim this away. My ring always gets flipped and it drives me up the wall. All right, let's do this. Nice and straight. Boom. Cute. Look at that. That's so cute. Okay, and then this is going to go here. 
and let's see how it ends up looking. I think that's cute. I like the vellum and how they just kind of look like they're kind of floaty. Yeah. It's cute. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. Now here's the beauty of it. I have all of this space for gluing because with vellum, any, any adhesive you put on it, you got to hide um, because once it's wet, it's wet. But I have all that space for gluing, which is awesome. And so I will stick this where it goes, just like so. I never liked my valid purple and gold until the. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit that on there while I work on sentiments. Oh, I got a little glue out. I ain't going to worry about it. I ain't going to worry about it. All right, now let's work on sentiment. I wanted to use the sentiment that says, you. I don't know if I want to do that one or not. You are what awesome looks like. You make awesome look easy. Or you are fantastic. I don't know if I want to use that. I also pulled, because I really like this sentiment that says, um, celebrating your special day and thanking God for you. I really like that sentiment. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, me too. Do you uh, have a supply list for making the calendars? Yes. Yeah, All right. Linda, that's being linked right now. Uh, those large scissors that you see my mom using are from Tim Holtz. Let's go there. And you know what I might do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where did that go? Where did that go? I feel like I put it in bin. Hmm. I put that strip of gold somewhere. I thought it might be cool to use that for my sentiment. I don't know where I put it. Oh, I could use this. I have more of that shiny if you want that shiny. I mean, I've got that piece, but look, I could use this, which is not quite as shiny. Yep. I don't know. I kind of like the really shiny. This probably won't show up well on here. Nope. I'm going to do white so I can actually see it. I want to be able to see it, and I'm going to use this piece at the bottom of this rather than cutting another piece. Ah! All right, so let's squish my little flower under there. He's like dead. Okay. <laughs> let's do this, let's do this, and let's do this. Okay, ink this guy up. And I'm going to do... And which set is that you're using? This is one of my very favorite sets, y'all. Um, it is called Birthday Blessings. Let me show y'all. Let me get this transferred. Boom. I can tell you it's not in stock because I remember that was on the list of me to order. That you ordered. It doesn't stay in stock. It's called Birthday Blessings, and you have the big word birthday, the big word happy, and then these are all um, not, not necessarily scripture-themed birthday blessings, but like each day you are God's gift to me. Hope this day is filled with blessings, joy, and peace. Wishing you a lifetime of God's blessings. Wishing you all of God's joy on this day. God bless me the day you were born. May God make this day a day to remember. So um, it's, it's a good set. You can use it for lots of things. So there's that. There's that. Okay, calendar. Here's what I wanted to do. Um, because he graduated in December of 2020, our, this is the new calendar set. Someone was asking about it. This is the, here's the thing. I have the never-ending calendar and I have the large never-ending calendar, but we don't have one. We didn't have one of these in our stash, so we created this for those of you who don't really like to mess with the never-ending situation. So these are just pre-done calendars for you. So there's seven on here. There's one for whatever you need and. Now, for the leap years, you will have to wipe the ink off, like if you need the 28th or whatever that is. Okay, let's do this. We gotta, we gotta move. December. December. Let's get that little guy on. December. I'm gonna do December down here. Like so, and then I'm going to do 20, 20. So I'm gonna get these little numbers off of here. I don't keep those, by the way. 20 and then 20. Actually, I could just do 20. I'm gonna do them both. I'm gonna do it twice. But you could just do 20 and just put that little hyphen thingy. You know what I'm talking about? They might. You know, like you put it in front of it. 
20. 20. Oh, naturally, I never line things up straight. Okay, so this might be ready to go onto here. And it might look really good. Oh yeah, and it kind of covers up my glue blob. I like that page. How do I want to glue that down? Foam, eh, foam. Let's foam it up. Let's foam it up. Let's use those. These will make it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Got my pokey tool back in my room. Shannon's like, I went and got your pokey tool. I'm like, thank you. It was in the classroom, and it's every time I go to film, I don't have it in here. Joe wants to know, how do you like this trimmer compared to the others you've used? I got to be honest with you. The three trimmers I have in stock, are we are carrying the the tonic one, the cricket one, and the dress my craft. I really like them. The only thing, and I think I shared this with y'all last week, or, or with somebody, the only thing I want to caution you about the dress my craft, which I found out kind of the hard way, is don't pick it up by the arm. I didn't realize I'm a person that picks up trimmers by the arm, and this one just really can't handle that kind of abuse. So just pick it up by the trimmer. But other than that, I'm really liking it. And I'll tell you something else. I found I really love this. Shannon and I were doing some um, template making, and I kept le I kept using this the yeah. score or the scoring tool. It's a good scoring tool. It is a good scoring tool, and the thing is, I rarely use it because in most trimmers you can't leave your blade and your score tool. I mean, not most, but in the ones we have, you can't. But here you can, and I find myself using both, which is interesting for me. Is that me? No, it's me. Okay, because that was gonna be a problem if it was. All right, so let's peel these little backers off. I thought it would stop by now, sorry. I don't think it's bothering anybody. Okay, now we're gonna put this right here. Do y'all whisper when you work? I'll put this right here. We order from our friendly Mexican restaurant in our parking lot oh. way too often. Now they're calling you. Now they're calling you. <laughs> and they just take our order and then they call us later in the day for us to pay for it. So, um, Anyway, they're calling, wanting their money. <laughs> but they're so good. They will. They actually fix our food and bring it across the parking lot to us. So it makes uh, it makes it easy to eat Mexican food several days a week. Very loyal customers. I think I'm gonna do that here too. So I'm doing my little dot dot dash. I think I'm gonna point that out. I'm gonna point out the design with the dot dot dash, doing it on the vellum. Just think that looks kind of cool. I think it's cute and I think it's simple and I think it's clean. It's what I was going for. I just wanted to focus on Josh and the kids. Isn't that I cute? love the December 2020 too. I think this looks Because it kind of looks like. Um, like an old stamp. Like the stamp, like in the library. Yeah, because it's you not check straight. Out a book. You know, when you had to line yeah. it up yourself. I think so too. That's what I thought. So. I thought it looks really good. Good. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So glue the stamp. Do we have a stamp list? What are we? What? A list of stamp, all of our stamp sets. Um, yes. If you go to the website, I'm going to put a link in. Shannon's going to link you to it. I don't think y'all can hear her. No. And for those of you asking, I ordered Shannon a microphone today. Aww. Asking ye shall receive, seeking ye shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. That's not what we're talking about, but it's always good to quote scripture whenever you can. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad you did that. But now we got to figure out how to work three channels. I guess it's the very same thing, right? It <laughs> Just won't be scary. It, turn it, it scares up. me because I have to do all this part. No. You don't have to do nothing. Y'all. It's all on my little board over Connie here. Connie said that is customer service. Listen, it is customer service. So we always try to do something for them. And so for Christmas, I thought this was kind of neat. And I want to say this to you because I want to encourage you to shop small. I think you, if you have places in your town that... I get so sad when I see businesses going out, when I see small businesses going out of business in my town. And I don't mean just because of this year. It always makes me sad. Because in yep. our town, we'll have the cutest little businesses open and then in a month they're gone. Not usually a month, usually three months. Speaking of that, we need some more cupcakes. <laughs> so for Christmas, we had this new cupcake store open here. So and it, it's called G Moss Cupcake. G-E-M-A-S, G Moss Cupcakes. And they hadn't been open very long before Christmas at all. And every year I try to come up with something to give like the businesses in town we work with to give them like a Christmas gift. And so um, 
I don't know what made me think of GMA or GMAs. Was it, maybe they posted on Facebook or something, I don't know. That's another thing, guys. If you're on Facebook, go follow the small businesses in your town. You'll be surprised what you'll find out you can pick up in your small towns you don't even know you can get. Like, I had no idea I could get makeup erasers at my local jewelry store or different things I didn't know people carried, right? So anyway, I saw GMAs and I was like, Vince, I want to go check them out. So I wasn't able to go check them out. What I did instead is I messaged them on Facebook and I'm like, I have an unusual request. <laughs> I'm like, do you think, now listen how good they are. I want to give them credit. I said, do you think if I bought several dozen cupcakes for, I think it was four or five businesses in town that we work with like almost every day, would you mind delivering them? Like that's a big ask in my yeah. opinion. And I was like, w because I wanted it to feel like a present, like a delivery showed up. Us taking it's one thing, but I wanted it to feel like they got a yeah. delivery. So out of the kindness of their heart and for no extra charge, they delivered cupcakes all over town like little Santas for me. And um, our Mexican restaurant, we sent them the cupcakes. We sent um, the post office. post office cupcake. I can't remember Rustic. everybody. <laughs> Rustic Relics, we sent cupcakes too. Like we just sent them around town to people that we work with. And our friends at Mad Dogs. And I want to do it again next year. And I want to like, um, I want to work harder on building my local relationship because I feel like we can all help each other. And I bet you don't realize what small businesses in your town have to offer. Like, look, Shannon. Okay, can y'all see this precious shirt, Shannon? She has had more compliments today about this shirt. And she got it at Rustic Relics, which is a antique store, but they have the cutest, have the boutique. cutest boutique. And the prices, that's the thing. Like, Shannon, we shop at boutiques all over town, but when you can go in there and Shannon can act, Shannon is frugal, okay? And she'll go or in it. No, she. I don't mind either one. She's frugal. And she'll go in and go, I want this shirt. And she can afford it. And she feels good about it. And so please shop small. I just think that's what I'm trying to say. So, and then when you make these relationships, you have people that are like GMAs. It's like, yeah, we'll deliver for you. I mean, you know, that's kind of fun. Okay, let's look at the calendar. We just finished most of it. Next week, <laughs> the I don't know that they list. will deliver them to <laughs> Tennessee. We'll just make sure when you're here, we'll do that. Pam, the chocolate, the hot chocolate bombs were fantastic, weren't they? You the, didn't try one. The hot chocolate ones? The, bomb, the bombs. Oh, yeah, those were cool. Fantastic. Okay, here's the deal. Next week, we're doing the cover, and then we're putting 2020 up. We're putting it back on the shelf. But here's the deal. Y'all want to see a flip through. This is the month we moved into our store. This is the month we celebrated um, Emmy with a shower. This is the month Emmy was born. This is the month we celebrated Addie's second birthday. This is the month I celebrated Mother's Day with my mom. This is the month I celebrated Father's Day with four, four men in my life that are fathers and very important to me. Um, this is the month we did Made It Con, and this is our little photo at the end. This is our very last second of the day, remember? Oh, we took that photo. And then this is Thomas asking uh, Jenna to marry him. And then this is when we went to Warren Springs, and this is my niece and nephew, Ford and Lydia, and we just had a little fun day together. And then this is, um, this was Mary Makeathon, and Vince doing his craft. And then this is Thomas and Jenna's wedding, my favorite picture. They're adorable. I see their faces every day. Those shoes, the way they did that was so cute. I wanted to put that in there. And then Josh graduating. So you see how this is like a, a snapshot of our year? Like it's the 12, it's not the 12, it's 12 coolest things from the year. There's 12 highlights. 12 highlights. Not necessarily the coolest. No, it's just 12 cool things from our year. And what I love is I can always look back and go, look at that. That'll be so cool, right? Yeah. So next Thursday, we'll decorate the front. And I don't usually decorate the backs of things, but we'll do the front next Thursday and get that finished. And next Thursday, I'll be able to bring the new calendar in. So if you've watched, if you watch my tutorial Saturday, which my plan is for it to be Saturday, if you watch it Saturday, then you'll be able to see the new calendar and how it's going to be slightly different. And I think I'm really going to like it. Exciting. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, we are, I am excited about the new one. I think it's, I think it's a good idea. The only way you know something needs an update is by using it and going, you know, I wish this had this, you know, so that's what we're going to do. I think, it, Judy, I think this is the greatest memory project because I love to have a, I love to have an at-a-glance calendar. I cannot tell you how many times I go, what day is it? Or, you know, when is that due? And I can just glance at a calendar. I love that. But I would hate to spend all the time making this calendar and then at the end of the year throw it away, which I wouldn't. I would just replace the pages. You know what I'm saying? 
But this to me is really cool how now it just becomes, and I love having these completed. And it actually makes different pictures. It Where's the last, last year's? It's in here somewhere. <laughs> That's what I was just looking for. I was looking for it when we're in here. It used to sit right here. I don't know if it got tucked down, but it used to sit on the side or either up there. Um, but here's the thing about it. It's, I don't like to commit to scrapbooking like every day of our lives or something like that. But I love having a like a little monthly snapshot. I love it. So, yeah, I think you'll like the new update. It's going to be a little bit different, but it won't be so different. All right, how many of you have made these with me every Show year? Show that picture. Oh my goodness, did we not show this last week? I don't know, show it again. Did we show y'all this baby girl? Look at that preciousness. Can you stand it? Mama got her that princess thing for Christmas, this little outfit, and she put it on Christmas Day, and she came up to show Pops, and he snapped a picture. I didn't even know you'd snap the picture, and it's so cute. Look at her looking that at Pops. That Well, he edited it in a little bit, but that's her looking at Pops. <laughs> so cute. She looks like a little princess. When, when my angel. Is, it's not the after show, but um, when she calls us on the phone, she'll go, hey, Pops. And then she just giggles and giggles and giggles. She's so cute. I love and her going. And then she goes, I want to talk Grams. We're Grams. We're Grams. I love, love, love to hear her talk to him, though, and go, hey, Pops. So cute. The other day, let me tell something she did, and then we're going to go to the after show. So her room, she has a new room, and uh, she has, like, all kinds of new stuff in her room. And so she gets the phone from her daddy, and she says, I'm going to take her to my room. Talking about me because I was on the phone. She took me in, and she showed me. And she can do it with her phone. <laughs> she takes her phone, and she said, look at my lights. So she's got, like, fairy lights on the wall, and she's got lights in her tent. And she'll go, look at my lights, Graham. Look at my book, Graham. She takes me around the room, and I love it. I love it. I think it's so cute. All right, let's go to the after show. Look, I saw one part. Nope. Uh, Valari made it. Who else made one? I saw somebody else say they made it. Oh, where'd it go? Did I miss, did it fly back? It's 10 p.m. We have someone watching from Zimbabwe. Wow. Yep. Kim, Good you night. rock. There we go. Tina Torres has made one. And, um, Valari has made one. Uh, cool. Several people have asked about the wooden box. Kim made one. Our normal supplier uh, that we get those from does not carry them anymore. So we will have to try to find some. See, Lizzie says she made one, but her aunt asked her not to. She didn't want to use it as a mini album. Her aunt asked her to restamp new months. See, that's great. Donna Willen made one. Susan made one. Kim made one for 2021. Yes, but you have to take it out. You have to replace them to use them. They don't stay in the board at the same time. Um, Christine has made several albums, but not a calendar. Janet made two. Camp Town, South Africa. Cape Look, Town. Cape Town, you guys. Thank you all so much. Uh, Nicolette made one. Sherry made one. Susan made one. Michelle made two. Terry made the desk calendar for herself and her best friend, but didn't add pictures. Uh, Debbie made two last year, and she's ready to do 2021. Um, I think you'll like the new one. Nyoka's made one. Let's see who else. I love to I love to hear when you guys have made something I've shown you. Um, Jolene made several as gifts. Michelle has made them for others. Kathy made three. You guys rock. That's so cool. All right, are we ready to craft or after show it? So here's what we're going to do. Let's do I'll it. Hold these out for the craft or after show since I opened them. Um, look, Beth made one. Donna made the calendar. I made six. Oh, why does it not stand well, Donna? Um, Marie Alexander. Uh, oh, that's a question for you. You have you said you were getting those back in. Yeah, I'll get those. The the, the fine metal tips are out of stock right now, uh, but I'll get them back in. It should be just a few days. Terrence has made six for Christ for twenty twenty one for Christmas gifts. Um, Kelly made one. Kayleen. <laughs> Is in Australia. This is the first time I've seen you live. Thank you, Kayleen, for watching. Um, Nicole Arnold, I'm working on year two. Love the last one so much. You guys rock. Oh, I made one for a shower gifts as a year in the baby's life. What a good idea. Um, I think you, you shared the supply list for the calendar. Did you already do that? Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to um, turn off this show. I'm going to clean up just a second to make room. We're going to finish the cards we didn't finish last week um, from across the miles. I'm going to show you a few new products, 
and um, I'm gonna let you know about a little more about Tim as I'm being part of the team again. I'm gonna let you know about something the design team is fixing to do, which I think is gonna be fun. Um, we have updates on the blog. What else do we have updates on? Oh, we have information. We have updates on the member crop. We have that and several things we want to talk about in there. So we're going to head over there and get started. And so Shannon has put the link to the after show. It's right there. Do you see where it says crafter after show link? So if you'll click on that, y'all can go ahead and start chatting. And like I said, I'm just going to clean my work surface off so I have room and we'll be right back.